chat, as you are aware, it is now Tuesday. Yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> I know my way around things, but it's Tuesday, and we just did a very, 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 very long discussion about this just yesterday. It went on for a long time. I'm very, very sorry. However, there's a nice update. Mr. TGG, that German guy, he's just shown us a new video here. And out of these 200 skins, well, 198 now, 200 skins, <laughs> we're now down to around 40 because he's now showcased all of the uh, skins that have made it to the next round in voting. However, however, there is a bit of a problem because uh, we don't get to vote for it. It's face punch themselves. <laughs> but we got a good glimpse of what potentially will be getting into the next round. So a lot of glow in the dark stuff. If we can just quickly load that up. Very nice. Very cool. Uh, Mr. Kua right here in the chat. We've seen his uh, deer skull mask make it through. Looking very good. Looking very good. And not very surprisingly, uh, we see that the uh, Neon Pumpkin Double Armored Door skin has made it through to this bit. Chat, YouTube, that's getting in. I I cannot see any possible way that won't do, won't be getting in. Like, it's, it's become a yearly tradition now. Uh, need proof? All right. Neon Pumpkin. Here we go. And this is looking to be an instant profit. Look at these two. The first one, Garage Door, sold over 25,000. It looked cool. Wasn't too crazy, was it? Well, now it's $6.64. The next year, Neon Pumpkin Metal Double Door, Sheet Metal Double Door. Um, we have not seen many Sheet Metal Double Door skins this past year, have we? Well, <laughs> it sold almost, almost 40,000, and people would probably assume, oh no. Oh no, it's oversaturated. Nope, it's worth $7 now. Sold for $3, now worth $7. And just to give you a nice quick insight, because people are asking, if you just go look at its history, it just kind of just instantly went up in price. So it went down a little bit for a while, and then it just kind of was steady, and then into December, and then post-Christmas time, doubles in price almost. No, not doubles. Well, since from here to here, it doubled in price. That's what I meant to say. My apologies. And then later on this year, it got to its high point around the end of April, early May. But ever since then, we've seen all skin prices go down since then. So after that, prices kind of suffered after the CSGO major. They normalized after a while. But now that we've hit the, uh, the point where it's uh, uh, autumn, fall season, Prices are going down. We're probably going to see an all-time low around just after Halloween because, well, it's not Halloween anymore and it doesn't have a very good spot to be used all the time. It's still good. It's probably one of the best door, uh, door collections that uh, we've got. So what I'm saying is this sold an absurd amount and it still easily went up in price. I am pretty... <laughs> like, okay, there's another thing. This is a double armoured door skin. Let's go take a look at the last double armor door skin that got accepted. Away we go, back to March time, March 24. And what do we see right here? Oh, look, it's the Outer Planets double armor door. It sold for $3 and now it's selling for $6. So, if we just get a good look at all of the double armor door skins, and wow, there's hardly any. And that's the very reason why they're all so valuable. So, I would not be surprised in the slightest if that Neon Pumpkin uh, double door gets accepted. So the most recent one was in fact Outer Planets Armored Door. All of these are in the positive. Very nice investments. That Neon Pumpkin double armored door is going to be easy money. You have to wait it for a decent amount of time to be able to get the best amount of money out of it. True. But even the sheet double door sold, uh, sold an absurd amount. And it still went up in price very easily. So, this is a nice positive thing to be aware of. But there's also another thing that I wanted to, just, to uh, discuss. And I'm not sure if we can apply this to every single week. So, I did mention this in my chat earlier. Uh, where are we? People discussing things. We have a Halloween section here. There is a weird thing that I want to point out. I wasn't super surprised to see that this Neon Pumpkin uh, Double Door got through to this next round because there's a little thing that I'm just going to show you off here. So you might see all the details in the workshop for a skin. Very nice, very cool. Right, but if you scroll down, 
Have you ever noticed the uh, collections in the bottom right? No? I don't blame you. It's not super noticeable. And why would you care? Well, it says there's ten collections, but you, you don't see about four of them. One, two, yeah, four. There's four, four hidden collections. And here is the theory. In the background, um, we're led to believe the Rust Devs are making collections of the skins, hiding it, but they are you know, putting all of these skins into a collection and then they're picking out the ones they like and then they're moving it to another collection. They're going through the voting process themselves in the background, but they have to hide the collection so nobody notices. Well... I noticed. I was informed by this uh, by a very smart individual. He passed it on to me. Uh, I won't say names, just in case. But um, yes, this might be something that we'll have to keep an eye on in the future. So this had a whole bunch of collections, and yeah, that was like okay. Yeah, that must be note. That's clearly going through in the next round of voting, and ta-da! Here we are. So. If we go over to other skins that we saw, Hammerhead Frankie, how many collections are you in? Three, but how many of them are hidden? Just one. Okay. So it... Oh, wait, no, we've got a round one. This was hidden. This was what was hidden earlier. Oh, okay. So we're learning things, aren't we, chat? Do you understand what's going on here? They already had this collection already prepared earlier. TGG makes his video. He then makes this public afterwards. Yeah, that makes sense. So do you understand what's happened? In the background, they made a secret collection. They hid it, so, you know, they, you couldn't see it. But they needed to keep... They, they needed a whole collection... So that uh, they can ask for voting again. And then probably in the background again. They're going to do another case of. Alright so these are looking pretty good. Move on to the next round. And then yeah that means. In the future. When we have a massive batch of skins again. For, a, uh, for an, another uh, competition. We have to keep an eye out for um, skins. That have a whole bunch of hidden collections. So, for example, I guess we could take a look at the uh, LDL96s. There you go. So, Scarecrow, we had a bit of a talk about this. A lot of you, my chat, sat there and said, that looks like a CSGO skin. I liked it a lot, but a lot of you kind of sat there and said, it looks like it should be in CSGO. And you know what? I could sit there and say that's a bit of a positive because it looks so cool, but clearly it didn't make it to the next round. Well, if we scroll down... The collections this is involved in, it could have been, it could have been something to keep an eye out for. But there's only one hidden collection it's part of, and people could easily make a hidden collection. So, yeah, as you can see, two, uh, two people here are fans of it. They added it to their collections of what they liked. But then we look at the likes of the Graveyard L96. And earlier, we could see this was this was in a whole bunch of collections. I click this right here, and it still is. So, yes, this was also in the collection that just became revealed. And there's still two more hidden ones. So is this something that we, the investors, need to keep an eye out for potentially for Thursdays every single week? Are we going to be able to see... If some of the skins that we, we're keeping an eye on are in a whole bunch of collections. Now, here's the problem. As I said, anybody can add these skins to a collection of their own and they can hide it. So they could trick people, whether it's on purpose or by accident. So we could foresee that. I, here's a good one because I made a, I, I, I was half joking, but I really would like to see a sandbag skin being accepted. The problem is, is that they're not uh, they're incompatible. They sh you're not you're technically not allowed to make any more skins for uh, concrete and sandbag barricades. This didn't have that many collections earlier, um, but yeah, this had hardly hardly any collections earlier, 
and yeah, it's mostly no public, easy to notice collections. So, if you see an item, or well, a skin more specifically, that's in a whole bunch of collections, and a lot of them are hidden, that's a that's a good indicator for uh, yeah, that likely being a skin that's going to be accepted. We used to see skins being accepted on a Trello. I'm not sure if you know what Trello is. It's a uh, Whew. I, I, I don't want to say program, but it's a, it's a project management tool, as you could uh, as you could see. You what we used to see was the developer face punch, <laughs> sorry, face punch devs um, picking out and voting for what skins they wanted to be picked. Um, but it's it's gone. We used to see that about five years ago. I used to wait and sit there every Thursday, keeping an eye on it. I'd see them vote. And then when they when they were done finishing, uh, were done voting, twenty minutes later you'd see the skins appear, the rustle rotation. So that's what I used to do, but they don't have that anymore. But I think now we've uncovered and learned about their different method of doing this. Are we going to be able to predict skins coming out in the future? And as investors, that's super helpful, isn't it? Super helpful. And I'm led to believe. Because we've seen uh, we've seen buyouts of skins before, and we're like, why is this happening? And then later on in the week, we when the rust rotation happens, you see skins of that collection being accepted, and you're like, oh, have we uncovered how it all works? So, yeah, chat, YouTube, you decide. Go forth, go look in this new collection. Where is it? <laughs> I've lost it. Wait, if we just go to TGG, and then we go to its workshop, and there you go. Round one. And don't forget, chat, at the very least, go vote for the skins that you want to see being accepted. There's a lot less of them now. So we can start deciding, hmm, maybe I want this. Oh, maybe I want that. Go and support your favourite skins. Help out the creators. Show Face Punch what you want to be added. Two days to go. Two days to go. What are we going to see? Let's find out.